Despite their best efforts to get rid of mid lane Kale on 11-15, Nemesis has still been abusing and using this champion to success in Korean solo queue, the man in the mid lane at the moment, up against a Talon. So what they did on 11-15 to Kale was they reduced his magic resist, his base magic resist by 4, meaning into AP mages. He really does struggle into things like Orianna, Cassio, Syndros, things like this. But whenever there's a nice AD pick in the mid lane, think of things like Viego, um, Talon, uh, Zed, things like this. Kale can still is essentially the exact same champion as it was pre-nerfs. The champion still has a really good win rate, one of the best late game hyper carries. And Kale now is Nemesis's most played, and he's been putting a lot more games in recently as he tries to make his way back into Challenger in Korea. He got to 1200 LP, and then he dropped all the way back into the 500s. Now he's on the grind again, trying to try hard climb. And whenever he does these climbs, uh, he seems to default back to this champion, Kale. He just doesn't seem to go wrong with the champion. As you can see, he's up against a Talon, who's the epitome of early game snowball. Whilst in contrast, Kale, I mean, if you have a weak mental, if you are willing to FF a game, if you're 2k gold behind at 15 minutes, Kale is not the champion for you. Please identify your weaknesses and strengths as a player. Some of us just don't have good enough mentals to play Kale. The whole idea of Kale is you suck. You pretty much suck in the early game. You're not going to have prior. Your team is probably going to get behind, especially into a talent. And you've got to ignore all of like they expect you to roam, they expect you to do a backflip, all this crap. You're playing Kale. You want to sit in the mid like a mid like a vacuum until you're level 11 with an item and start to really scale into the game. So be prepared for that, man. You're going late game with this champion. You are 1v90. Okay? You're Tom Cruise in Top Gun. You need to properly be ready for that late game pilot where you just 1v90. As we get a skirmish outbreaking over the red buff, not ideal for the Kale. You are piss useless. As we drop a kill, I don't know why you would even try and contest against Elise Talon. It should not be in contention at all. Elise Talon versus Lee Kale, like, go next. As the bot lane picks up a double, and I might actually switch to Nemesis' point of view as this game gets going on to watch his um, movements and his clicks. Always love to see Kale be piloted. From two items onwards, the champion is absolutely bonkers. Skirmish in the river. Lee Sin seems to have been picked out. Nemesis comes across for the W. There you go, buddy. At least with the auto slow. Have to flash out on the cocoon. And good news. Faker made worlds over the weekend. He has qualified. Bad news is Caps did not qualify. Spoilers alert. Probably should have said that before what I just said. Um, what else do we know? Chovy can still make it, although it seems unlikely. Um, I mean, I'm still so pumped for Worlds. TSM have been eliminated. It means Perks is going, which is nice. Um, it's going to be a spicy Worlds, man. We're only about, like, what, are we a month off? A month and a little bit off? Usually start starting to pick up soon. Usually it's like in October, right? They start doing their boot camps as we have a freeze in the mid lane. We've got a slight CS lead here. Renekton picks up the kill under the Orn. Renekton Elise with a Talon. This is just... Oh my god. 5-0. Can they get a return kill? Come on, Nautilus. You can do it, buddy. First kill of the game. Over to Lee Sin. Gets the kill onto the... Elise. Double kill. Nice. Elise and Renekton have been picked up. And Nemesis still hasn't based. He's just... Full health, like he has plenty of health and sustain. He's got a 12 CS lead so far. And this is your comfort zone, guys. You're wanting to get behind. I mean, in an ideal world, you don't get behind. But in your head, you need to be looking for challenges in these games. You don't, you don't want to be having free, you don't want to be have the mentality that the only game is going to be winning is games where all lanes win and it's just a cruisy free pass. Please, there's too many people that just expect their games to be free. It's not how, the, it's not, it's not how it's gonna work. You'll never improve if all the games are free, not a challenge. I was wondering how he's gonna use this teleport, man. You don't wanna waste the teleport. He wants to use it maybe as a counter to the bot side. Here we go. Anything here? Look on the bot side of the map. Nemesis does not commit, and it's seven kills to two as Nemesis I'm going to complete that recall and probably finally use this teleport. Gets the blasting, making his way towards the Nashes. 
It's always Nash's Rift Maker. He'll probably blow TP here, he does. Uses it in the wave. Gets the Dark Seal as well. Always remember, when you're playing this champion, uh, the Dark Seal in the early game is going to be looking for your first base because if you get this Dark Seal stacking in towards the late game, it's going to be a free Magi's. Um, and it's pretty hard to lose it because you got that self ultimate, of course, that's going to be allowing you to be unkillable. As we're only up 100 gold on the talent, is that it? Enemy Kais is 3.4k to 1.7. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. That is not a good at all. And I'm just praying that they can maybe get a dragon or something. Like, if Lee can stall out, if they can get a dragon and prevent the soul getting stacked up, you could definitely stall it to late game. If you get a dragon or two, and you're, like, behind 10 kills, if you just have enough wave clear and try and deny the Baron, like, you can stall out for a long-ass time. It's the soul that really gets people and finishes games out quickly. As bot lane looks to be overextended again, Kaisa drops... The Aphilios for her fifth kill. What do you do when your bot lane 0 7 at 7 minutes? I mean. You really can't like coin flip anything. You need level 11, really. You need level 11 and two items. Talon moves across for the Lee Sin. Doesn't quite get the kill. And we're up, what? 15 or so CS? It'd be a good net if they weren't so far ahead. And you know what's sad? Reckless didn't make worlds this year. I feel you. They're always dead, bot. What the hell is going on? There's death on my screen every single second. As we cut across the nemesis. You can see he's very um, very calm and controlled, definitely not panicking, as his team is 11 to 2. And we'll probably watch his perspective from here. I love seeing K like Kale piloted in the late game. Um, Thank you, Ed Poppy, for the offer. I'm on this bad boy to switch it on. Fine. I don't think I want to brand myself that way, you know? That's, uh, that's not Three more levels. Level 11, you'll switch it on. Trust me, you'll switch it on at level 11. I don't have the body yet, you know? The body? What is he doing? What is he doing? Boris the Crime Lord. Thank you for two months. Uh, why is your name Boris the Crime Lord? The okay. Heck? We're working our way towards items. We still have no kills. We still have no gold income. We have a level though. Nemesis, would you like to sign my underwear? Uh... Why not? No. I don't want to do that. Sorry, man. I don't think I wanna do that. Hey? Come on! Give him the gold! He's mad. Oh He's no. Aphilios is dead and then Nautilus is pissed because Nemesis didn't let him get the gold. And now now you do not want Nautilus to share any of this XP. I'm surprised enemy bottom didn't kill the tower yet. Like they killed my bottom ten times and they haven't gotten the tower yet. Hmm. Like that, like this net, this Nautilus hasn't moved. Why are you talking so much? I miss the sound, Nemesis. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Stop talking and focus, buddy. You got this. Nautilus, you wanna hug? Listen, I don't like you, and I usually. How do you carry through a trolling bot lane? Let's see. I make an exception for you. There you go, man. You just seem very lonely. Yeah, okay. have one. Nice. Another one. That's all you can have, sorry. Oh my god. This is not good. Okay guys, I'm going fucking bot lane. Yo. Maybe, maybe, maybe? Oh, if he was there. This is so awkward. He has to go the long way as well. Now Filios is moving bot, they're gonna share farm. 11 minutes here too. Most likely yes. Most likely yes. Problem is, I won't look as cute as I do today, you know? At least the Aphilios oh, yeah. follows instructions. My bad, my tower. This seems good though. He's all alone in a side lane. Hopefully, if his team uh, can just... I mean, they've got a heart. You guys want to know what's really nice? The what's nice? Here. 
It's such hey. a nice feeling. A banana? Please don't kill me while I push out this bot wave. I think Please you're don't fine. Don't Lee Sin picks up Renekton. He has Please, enough for Nashes here. I'm really innocent, I swear. Level one, we need one more level and Nashes and we're gonna start free farming the map. Kaisa, man. Alright, got Nashes. Let's get it. Zero, zero, zero at 12 minutes. We have 120 farm at 12. It's looking... This guy's saying 15 minute FF, please. Okay, what game is tomorrow on LSE? Oh, is it Fnatic Vitality? No, it, uh, it can't be. It has to be something else. And when was it? This game must have been like a week ago, by the way. He doesn't know that G2's out yet. <laughs> Rogue Misfits? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm doing it, it's fine. Of course, they have to start with the boring one, huh? Come on, get the Kaiser shut down, bro. Focus up. Lee? Not getting a KO ult. Sorry, mate. We're looking for level 11. We're still a full level off. Kaisa moves in. Could be good. Leona's gonna try. Aphelios with the flank. Guys, are we killing anybody? Mm, maybe. Nautilus on? picks up... Did Nautilus really get that? Did Nautilus just eat a thousand gold? We got an assist at least. KLW too strong. Back to the farm. Whatever. I'm gonna farm for my 11. It's the Gore Drinker talent as well. I love this setup. I did a video on a talent earlier. Earlier in the season. This tank, there's like a Bruiser Talon build that they go. It's pretty good. I've seen I've seen the Kiana player try it a couple times. It's it's into like um into like tankier matchups where you need to kind of survive. It's just seems good into like Diana or Renekton or things like that, like bruiser setups. Okay. As you can see, it's 19 kills to five, right? But he hasn't dropped a single death because he hasn't been committing to these bad plays with his team. He's playing his own game. He's on his own. Nemesis plays the game on his own terms. I've been in this scenario a thousand times in my life. Trust okay. Me. I'm trusting you, bro. We're level 11 now. Got TP. I reckon we run bot and keep farming it. Show us what the move is, boss. We get Zerk is and we head bot. No pink ward because we're greedy like that. Guys, it's just a 14 minute herald. We shouldn't really do anything about back off. Hey, yeah, there's... <laughs> back off. What? They can test everything in Korea for no reason. They're out of control. Look at them. Look at this. The good thing is no one's going to come to try and contest him in the side lane. So now he can just free farm it. Probably proc over 10 CS right. per minute. Riftmaker. Oh my god, they're going to drop the whole base. I mean, if they get an early inhib, it's probably beneficial to the Kale, right? Would it not be beneficial oh, to the nice. Kale? Farming the supers? Now listen, guys. We're going to perform an action called dropping an inhib now. Come on. Oh. We can do it. Drop it. Drop They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. <laughs> drop. <laughs> he typed drop it in English. Yeah, bro. They're definitely going to get you on that. Okay, funny. I need to learn how to say drop it in Korean. Yeah. This is the only line I need to That's actually this. hilarious. So we have ultimate. Let's see. I don't imagine he's going to use it on anyone but himself. Let's see. He gets the kill on the Renekton. Beautiful spacing. And he's not done. Has the flash. Hits that ultimate last second. Flashes. And he's able to get the kill onto the least. Probably going <gasps> to... Does he live? Mm, I think he's... No. One... Is anyone coming? They're just going to back out. Oh, Talon's here. Just, he's just gonna book it. Don't agree to it. My god. Caribou, yes or no, Chief? Alright. 
Enemy cost is 14 and 1. So it's all on one member, really. Use our TP. Nautilus is sitting on tower here. Obviously, like, their bot lane doesn't seem to be playing too properly, I won't lie, but... We're only four levels off 16. Can I do one more? Let's Seems risky, but let's do it. I don't have ult. Yeah, fuck it, I'm doing it. What soul is it? Can you guys see? No, then... Oh... What is it? Was it Infernal? I should have gone Crux, maybe. You look like you could go pro one day. Ocean Soul. That is not what you want. Love if it was if it was Cloud, you'd be pretty bloody stoked. But now the enemy is... They're going to have such good access to this soul point. In 10 minutes. That 27 minutes though. Nemesis will be 16 by then. He was here? Mm. How did I miss him? Oh. oh! Nice movements, he would have been stuffed if not. Kaiser hits the W though. Blow the ult. We even save the ult, we don't even press it for that lead. There's no way I'm ulting you. <laughs> He's gonna save it for himself. He's so greedy with how he uses his ult, it's all for himself. And like, I mean that's just how you have to play on Kale sometimes. You can't, like, at this point in the game, you can't put your trust in anyone but yourself. Five gold off the leeching. We've got to try and clear the minions. And we pop the R. Can we get any kills? We get one. Get two. Double tenacity rune. Woo! And I don't know if they're going to be able to get the end with the Aphelios up. The zero... Let's do this. The zero nine Aphelios. Farm, farm, farm. And they dropped, did they drop double inhibs or just one? I can't see if, no, they did. They dropped mid and bot inhib. This is probably a perfect scenario for the Kale, right? Level 13, almost have the Rift Maker. This song is my vibe. Turn it on, I can't hear. If he carries this, I'm quitting leak. Oh, Clip come it. on, man. Do it for him. Save his life. Save the guy's shot. Save <laughs> the guy's name. Alright. Farm, farm, farm. I'd probably drop the Nash and everything. And maybe I would just put it like... If I was communicating to my team, my communication would be oh. sack everything and fight on, on Ocean Soul. Fight on oh, Soul Point in like 7 minutes when I'm level 16 with 3 items. Nah, but... This team is just so disrespectful. I this I hate this. This shit's this shit it just triggers me so much. They're not ending. He gets the rift maker. We're still in the game. Usually he goes something like a death cap, but I reckon a banshee's here is better. What do you guys think? They have a lease and a Leona. If you get caught by CC, you die. Really barren though. Baron and double supers will be a bad time. Two more levels, boys. Steal everything from this guy. Take his wife, take his kids, take every, every single thing he has. And people will sometimes just leave the game when you do this to them, by the way. And there's nothing, you cannot control their actions. I, I, I don't know what to say, like you can't just try and, it's too late for some of these players. If you're 0-10, it's too late for you. You're in the hole, it's done. I'm the carry now and you gotta believe in me and you gotta take it. And it, sometimes players just get super salty about that and there's no solution. There's no solution to people's emotions in this game. You just gotta play your best game and not let them change what you do. As this backstop is actually genius by Talon, he can't make it back. They're gonna drop. They're gonna drop triple triple in hips. Fuck. Yeah, this is this is so awkward. We literally have to run all the way back. Oh my god, Elise flank. We have flash. We have flash. Nice juke. This should be fine. This should be fine. It's that ultimate. Flash is in. Gets the double buffs. Gets two kills there. Gets the Elise and the Talon. But at what cost? 
I don't think you do not want to drop triple in hips, I don't think. Double is fine, but triple is, seems too much, no? It's done. It's a done deal. Triple in hips down. It means six supers are going to be come pummeling into the base. Hopefully Baron's up. Nice. Gets the double. Essentially the unofficial quad. As I wouldn't chase, I'd farm, farm, farm. One more level. We have 4,000 gold somehow. Surely it's just death cap. I want death cap and magis. Death cap magis? Can't afford it. Two forty at twenty two. Take that as well. Hmm. I feel like Lee Sin's actually hasn't been doing too badly. I'm playing the same song again. Five minutes. Five minutes until soul point. He's gonna be like he's gonna be so big at that point. And Nemesis turns these games so often, guys, by playing like this. This is Korean Challenger. Could you imagine how like you could he could hold off any low elo game? And this is so many low elo games that you guys give up on at 15 minutes can be carried, okay? And if you're going to complain about the LP you lose and you don't even fight for it, don't complain at all. If you 15 minute FF and you haven't even fought for your LP at all and you're like, damn dude, my teams, it's like, man, you haven't even put your best effort in to try and regain your LP. I don't care if they're complaining or FFing, like try your hardest. Because games like this are turnable. It makes it a lot easier when you're playing Kale. Um, if you're playing, you know, champion that didn't scale as well, you'd probably have a bad time, but in theory. Enemy doesn't have Baron. So the minion clearing is quite easy. We just got to get rid of these creeps. Get rid of these creeps and cre keep them off of autoing. Nemesis moves forward, looking for the autos. Looking to try and pick up the talent. Gets one. Is this the Penta? Gets two. Ooh, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, it's going to stall too much time. Gets three. It's the ultimate. Four. Pentacle. Five. Fuck, I... We, when do we get a Magi's? 25 stacks. Sell for Hourglass. Okay. Hourglass, no Banshees. What are we? 13 and 1. My god. 25 stacks. Get Elixir as well, son. 811 AP. I don't think you want to even sell boots even if you overcap on gold, right? And you can see, when they have Elise, Talon, Renekton, their scaling is trash. If they troll like this, with so many people, so many teams get too greedy and troll, you can turn it if you're farming well. If you if you were the same CS as Talon, you'd be stuffed this game. You never would have had these, these opportunities would never have pre presented themselves. If you didn't have as, uh, as good like resource management, I'm gonna need or an item. One upgrade and flash. There's no way you don't one v nine. I feel there's one through and that's good. This bot lane does not deserve a win. I wish there was a way where you could just didn't like you like Nemesis should get 50 LP for this game and the bot lane should get like three LP. Imagine if there was like a team waiting like that. I don't think you could. Could you? No, you couldn't. You couldn't engineer anything like that. It'd be unfair. You need to move my items in inventory to get an item. I do, but it's only Rabadon. Zonia isn't upgradable anymore. Hmm. Eat, give team. <laughs> Eat. Forget Korean. Korean terminology is so good. Oh, it's only mythic. Oh yeah, it's true. It's only mythic. Rift's make upgraded. I actually don't know what the upgraded name is. He does see. Do you see how he's not? He doesn't want to farm any of this. He wants his team to eat it all. You're overcapped at the point. Oh, maybe pick. No, fuck this champion, dude. Flash up, TP up, Baron's up, but they're gonna give Baron and let them come in.
I think you're full build, right? And just keep ca just keep buying elixirs. Here comes the siege. I'm just so interested to see how he fights it. You need you you cannot be frontlining. I don't think. If you get hit by too much, see. Okay, well he frontlines. It's the ultimate. Still has flash. Holding, holding, holding. It's just it's. I mean he frontlined that fight to begin with. Fuck, that was my plan, he pops the flash for the Leona. 17 kills, 27 minutes in. You can't make it to their base in time. It takes like 25 seconds to run. Shit. But they're gonna deny the soul, which is probably the most important. They still don't have a tower at 27 minutes. They have no tower at 27 minutes. Oh my god. First tower of the game. Just getting rid of the get, getting rid of these waves is pretty vulnerable valuable as well. And stealing this away is is just denying so much. Make sure to take every goddamn camp and deny it. He shouldn't be taking his own camps though. Could you get a Lich Bane? No. Cosmic Drive? Go. Lich Bane, Lich Bane, Lich Bane, Lich Bane, 950 AP. This is going to be dirty. Check out how much damage this Lich Bane is going to have on the proc. This reminds me of old days, bloody AP Kale. Like full AP Lich Bane Kale. I can't, what did we used to go? I swear we used to rush Lich Bane on the Kale. Watch this. Okay, well that was, I think that was just an order. I don't think it did. I'm going to delete this very really fast. I think Phil. Okay, Philios killed someone. Now their team is really. I think they're actually all ahead on levels now. Nemesis is up three. They're all up. They're all up on levels because they held the base and all the supers were coming in, and they actually. You get so far ahead if you can hold out on those sieges. There's great comeback mechanics in League of Legends, guys. There truly is great comeback mechanics in League. No one wants to end. If you die, you lose. Please don't risk it. Fucking shot. Smells like a pick. They have, a, they have Oh, I can't want him to kill the wave. You got no really wave to siege after this. Not much you can do. Gotta wait. Get him! Three seven T farm at thirty, and he probably could be over four hundred if he wasn't giving so much to his team, right? Nice hook, nice hook. Front to back, front to back. We get Leona ultied. Let's see if he can survive. Gets the Talon. This is just too easy at this point. Playing Kale with this much gold and items, you just... It doesn't even feel like you're playing League. It just feels like you're playing League with cheat codes. Like, it just feels like you're way too strong. It feels like you're playing Age of Empires with that goddamn, like, um, Black Betty car or whatever the cheat codes were back then, and you just demolish the map. It doesn't really seem fair. It just takes a long time to get there is the problem. Because it seems like it's going to be a base race. Kaisa versus Kale. And I think Kaisa is just giving up. This should just be a straight dub. Order it through. Yeah, 
Gets his 21st kill, and what a comeback! What a comeback, man. Really well played. And there you go. That's how you do it. Show me the damage. I want to see the damage dealt. Can you show me damage dealt, please, sir? Full late game. Jesus Christ. 21, 1. 21 and 1. That's Korean Grandmaster. I don't know, boys. I think that was a great VOD to review. The early game was super slow. I think that just sh showcased what you can really do if you don't give up in a game and you try and scale into the mid late game with these type of picks. Remember, Kale mid, very good into 80 picks at the moment. AP Mages, she still kind of struggles, so just be cautious on when to pick it. But overall, Kale is still a great low elo stomper. Um, and it's one of the best 1v9ers in the late game, as you can see in today's VOD. So hopefully you enjoyed me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed Nemesis' gameplay as well, guys. I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below if you could. And until next video, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace.